Hi everyone, welcome to another practical chess position. This one is from Andre Volokitin's book, uh, Perfect Your Chess. It's puzzle 91 in, in that chapter out of 100. Supposedly they get very hard <laughs> once you get to like past 80. So we may have some trouble solving this one. But we shall try our best. So, wait to move. As always, pause your video and try to find the solution on your own. And then when you're done, unpause it and we'll work it out together. Um, it's wait to move here. As, all, as you can tell, Black's threatening Queen takes Rook. So, if we take an F6, he takes, and we take, and he... He can take our Rook off. So, that's not so useful for us. Let's see, what can we do? Hmm. I don't know. The rook on a4 is loose. I don't know why that matters somehow. Um. It's complicated. <laughs> this is so complicated. Alright, I mean, I'm looking at stuff like, like knight takes d6. It just looks interesting. Probably it's not going to work, but like the idea is if bishop takes, um, we can take this, and then we have this, check. We have this, and I don't know, bishop d2 or something. Looks like it might win. Maybe it won't though. Maybe even g5 is okay. Well, then we can take on d7. Somehow we have a good attack. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, man. It just looks um, very risky though. Because this is after queen takes rook. It's hard to find a great continuation here. I'm just kind of curious about this move, to be honest. And now. I don't know, take with this knight, I guess. And you could even take this and survive, though. What if we took with this knight, attacking a queen? And then whenever the queen moves... I, I don't know, this is complicated. <laughs> um... This is the problem here, like, even this, I mean, white's better, obviously, but is it enough? Maybe we could take this. We have a pass pawn. Maybe we're winning this. I don't know. It's complicated. But what was the problem? Like, oh, what did I say? Queen f6 here? Well, first of all, you can, see, if he does this, we have knight h6. I don't know, I mean, it's like interesting. It certainly looks interesting. And this move is still quite interesting as well, followed by bishop takes e5. So let's say you go, I don't know, queen b7. You know, we have a pretty nice attack here, threatening some kind of discoveries that should be winning. And if you go like h5, I imagine this move will be strong, because we're going to get our, we're going to get your bishop. So, I mean, knight d6 is this interesting move. And what was the other idea? It was, um, rook d7, right? Queen takes king, king to h8. Uh, do we have a stronger move? Like, after g5, I'm wondering if I'm missing anything. I mean, I feel like we have some nice attacking chances if we just capture on, on d7. Also, g4 with the idea of queen h5 is interesting. We're down a rook, though. We're down a rook and a piece. So it's it's kind of scary. Uh, do we have bishop g5? This is interesting. King, g, king f4 leads to queen g4 mate. If king here, this is mate. And if uh, king f5... 
I don't know, this leads to probably some kind of mate. One second. Queen h6 is mate in one. Alright, so I mean, this, guy, this idea looks remarkably interesting. I mean, it requires like huge analysis. But I mean, it's, it's kind of what I'm like looking at here. It seems very interesting. If rook g4, I think we could play like knight e8, probably. Um, I'm just going to go with that as my answer. We'll just find out. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, sometimes I don't want to sit here all day and calculating it. The point is, it's like a really interesting idea. Whether it's good or not, we're going to find out in a second. Crap. I was. It says this move is winning. Really? What did I miss here? Some sacking on e5? Queen e8? Yeah. If pawn takes, rook takes. God dang it. So after queen takes, if queen takes c7, now knight takes d6. This is kind of what we looked at. So I'm curious. It's basically a similar idea but different move order. I wonder why my move order didn't work. Oh, because of that, that stupid line, um, it actually doesn't doesn't lead to a win. Interesting. All right. Um, yeah, the reason this move is not as good is because bishop takes, knight h6, king h8 is good. And if knight f7, it says, I mean, it says just king g7. Knight takes, queen takes, knight takes, knight takes, and black happens to be fine here. White has some compensation, but black should be close to winning. Um, so the key is to, to take on f6. If king h8, rook f7 looks strong, I guess. Nope, it says uh, actually if king h8, Oh, and by the way, if, if king if king g7, take, take, boom, 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 boom. Now we have no discovery to attack the queen. This move wins. Crazy, right? Because now if he takes, we do have a discovery. Um, and after king h8 instead, knight e6, queen takes, knight takes. I'm sorry, they say queen takes just loses, so they, they look at f6 here. Because I guess you're still technically up material, but not that much anymore. And then it gives f4, which is a strange move, but alright. Rook a, oh, okay, we have two pieces for the, we have two rooks for the queen here, so uh, we have good attacking chances. Take, take, we're going e to a1, and it says white is winning, which makes sense, this bishop's pretty horrible. How about that? And after queen takes queen c7, knight takes d6. You know, at least we saw this move. If queen d6, knight h6, and we, we did get to this position already. You know, I just kind of, um, I was a little lazy because I don't like, you know, I know sometimes when a position is going to take 10 to 15 minutes to calculate. I just don't, I don't feel the need to do that <laughs> right now. Um, f6, I apologize for that laziness. Because I feel like the, the, well, you know, would I have found queen f6? Mm, I don't know. It's, it's a very tough move to find. I mean, this is just some variation where white gets some raging attack here. Um, queen f8. And it says this move with the idea of knight e4 to f6, and white is winning. So even though we have two pieces for the rook, uh, white is winning here. In the game, white just went rook to c6. And white was a little bit, white was better still, but the other move wins. Crazy stuff. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Any of you who got that right, you're very, very smart. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.